Hey guys, this is Joel here down in Texas. Um, decided to make me a, a YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is going to be projects around the house, among other things. Uh, I have a list of 20, 20 uh, projects that I'm wanting to get finished by the end of the year, hopefully. If not, it'll go into next year. But um, I figured this will be the opportune time uh, to, to get this uh, channel up. I've been wanting to do this for a while now, so what better way to do it than to do it, you know, do things that I like to do. So, uh, my first project will be, uh, I have two fans out here on my back patio. I'll, I'll show you guys, right? I have that one there. And I have this one here. Uh, for some strange reason, these guys stopped working. Actually, let me make sure that the power is on. Actually, the power wasn't on. Now the power is on. But still, these two fans right here, put them up about six years ago when I moved into the house. And for some re strange reason, they stopped working properly. Uh, the speed stayed slow. And from what I gathered, like I said, I looked up on uh, YouTube and see uh, different... Uh, reasons why fans you know slow down and one of the main reasons is bad capacitors so what i went on and did was order uh two from amazon they came in yesterday so today i'm gonna crack open one of the fans find the capacitor switch it out hopefully crank it back up and hopefully that'll solve the problem uh, if it solves the problem with one then i know i could go to the next one uh, but just stay tuned guys. This is gonna be my first video. I'm excited and like I said, it's gonna be more to come So I have to make sure you guys hit that button on the bottom and subscribe to my videos All right, so I'll let me go get my tools get what I need and Then we'll be able to go from there See you later You look right here Look right here we got three screws that I need to take off because then once I bring that down, I'll be able to bring this down, this whole unit down, and inside here will be the capacitor. Hold on. After I took down the first two bulbs, I mean the uh, first two screws. Gonna give you the housing and right here this black box right here you can see that that's where your right here is the capacitor so we're going to we have some more screws that we need to take down here so I'm gonna do that now here's the capacitor got it out the housing so what I'm gonna do here what I was mentioning before see that red purple and brown wire two gray wires I'm going to cut those at the base here and then use the wires and connect it to the new capacitor put it back in it should be good as new see you in a bit let's make sure that these capacitors are the same now you have three different wires here you have brown red and purple and as you can see here, this is how you could tell which ones you need. You got the red, you got the gray, purple, and brown. And this one here looks like it has the same thing. Red, brown, purple. So we're good here too. Uh, but basically it just looks like we just have to whatever wires is connected just gotta rewire them onto this one here the new one hopefully that'll be that'll fix the problem here because if not I'm really gonna be kind of annoyed but let's go ahead and see if that'll work and uh, I'll come back later the old capacitor was connected to what I did I just Cut, cut them from the um, the old capacitor, rewired it to the new capacitor, so that way that saved time. And then what I did, I put black tape around it, 
and now it's working it's working good man i wish i did this in the summertime oh yeah <clears throat> so what i'm ready to do now is just shut it off put the housing back over it put the light back on and we'll be good to go on this one and then i'll knock this one out too this one actually is probably going to take me less time because this one right here took me some time because like i said i had to i had to cut from the uh, capa old capacitor and the wire connection and splice it and black tape it <clears throat> but it's working like a champ see you later well it took me a lot longer than what i expected but i finally got my fans going back i have my uh my front one here and got my back one here um job was a lot it was it took me a little bit longer because the simple fact that housing that they that they uh use with a capacitator is it's kind of difficult to put back up once you get it off but <clears throat> other than that i'm happy i finally have my my uh fans now I can sit back out here. I can sit back here tonight. Got the white light. Got my yellow light. Yellow light is good to use because if bugs are not attracted to it. Of course, you know the bugs are attracted to the white light, but I don't use it. So, um, so. Once again, I'm happy. My first project took me longer than expected. My wife stopped me a few times because she wanted to show me her project she's working on in her, her office, but I'm happy and watch out for my next project. See you later, bye.